uh, hello guys this is uh, made by YouTube producer by me nail and today I'm going to teach you how to you can disassemble a th 2009 Spada Electra regulator and while maintaining maintaining this is the tools that you will need a small allen key so you can disassemble the middle screw and the bottom screw and uh, some of the other stuff you will need uh, your favorite lube I use hater sauce this is the only uh, grease towel lubricant that I have right now and you're gonna have to need a flat uh, key so let's start with the, the disassembly so to, so to what you're going to do is just you're going to use your small allen key and you are going to disassemble this key right here until it's all all loosened up so you can just like disassemble from the from the middle part and also from the the bottom part which is this part right here this screw you're going to do that also make sure you just get it a little bit loose and you should be able to take the bottom the middle bottom and the bottom off okay um, here you have uh, the assembly let me put the, the spring down so what you are going to do is you are going to have the 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 flat key you are going to disassemble the top right here because there is another o-ring inside of here which you will need to replace often so I'm just going to show you guys how just like this so you can see there's uh, nothing in there nor here now what I'm going to do is that I'm going to I'm going to use the Allen key just to get the the piston out of the 2009 Spider Electra. and we have completed the the disassembly it goes like uh, like this you have your your piston your piston spring you have the um, here is a kind of a metal connector um, by the way if your spider electra is leaking from the from this little hole right here you either have to replace this o-ring the or the piston o-ring itself these are the the two o-rings that cause a uh, leaking on the on the middle part of the regulator which is this little hole right here now then if your um, spider uh, electra is leaking like in between the the adjuster you're gonna have to replace or this o-ring that you have right here you see this little o-ring right here 
and this is the final o-ring on the top which you use to screw in your regulator to the marker so what you are going to do to maintain it you are just going to wipe this off keep it nice and clean and use your just a, little, a thin amount of lube and just uh, maintain the the regulator okay we have it all greased up now we are going to to put it back um, you can also put a put some paintball uh, put some grease inside of the regulator too it's so gonna make it a little bit much smoother so you can do that so you are going to put the piston on the middle part of the regulator it just goes straight in like that then you are going to put your your piston okay now we have the bottom the the middle complete you have the if you have to replace this o-ring just lubricate it and just put it right in here let me show you the back side of it this is what goes in between the the middle part of the regulator this is where it goes it goes just like this Just give it a little snug. It should look like this. This is what's going to go into the the piston itself. It's going to connect. Just keep in mind to loop all of the O-rings. Keep them nice and clean, put them uh, a nice coat of lube, and you should be ready to go. And this is the bottom part. If, if this o-ring is okay, just put some lube on it. So there's nothing out of the ordinary out of this regulator. So after you screwing the bottom part, you just want to grab your your allen key and just tighten those screws just back it out a little bit so you can get some pressure okay there it's 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 nice and snug now let, let me screw this uh, screw as well And there we have successfully maintained a 2009 Spider Electra regulator. It only has four O-rings, and I know the regulator is all scratched up because I I've used this regulator a lot. I like it. It's very simple. A very uh, the readings on the chronograph are very very precise and. I already beaten the shit out of this regulator really good and it hasn't uh, gone down on me so I just hope you guys uh, understood this video I tried to to make it as simplest as I possibly could anyways if you guys like this uh, maintenance video just uh, comment like subscribe once again for all those pinball players and my subscribers thank you for your support I'll see you guys next time Bye.